hi guys welcome to today's tutorial at the end of today's session we should have a project that looks similar to this one and remember if you are watching this tutorial for the first time it means that you have missed out on the previous sessions so to be able to catch up please subscribe to be able to watch my previous tutorials and the next tutorial to be uploaded thank you yes guys i want us to take a recap of what we did the other time that is the nested if you will notice that when we are doing the nested if we are saying that 80 percent is equal to excellent 75 percent is very is called to very good 70 is called to good how we get that now when you look at here 75 is good instead of very good then 76 is very good this means that in the if statement we're seeing that 75 is equal to very good that means from 75 76 77 up to 79 should be very good i will get that and since this does not apply to that this is the problem we move to the percentage now let's change it back to the decimal you know initially when we were calculating the percentage it was in decimal before we change it to percentage you realize that the 75 was 0 0.748 now when you are applying the percentages it will automatically run it of 74.5 will now be 75 so let's change it back to the percentage again now what you are supposed to do right now is to go to our if statement then we change the statement now instead of if j5 that is the percentage is equal to 80 uh, percent is equal to or greater than 80 percent it should be excellent now we change it to 79 if j5 is greater than or equal to 79 it should be excellent then we move to instead of 75 we say 74 is equal to very good then we move to the c stay we change it to 59 now we move to 55 we change it to 54 then we move to 50 instead of 3 we change it to 49 i hope you get that now let's autofill it then you see that everything will not change right now you can see that 75 is now very good in this session we will try to insert a new colon then we name it position or rank now to do that we'll move to the right side of the grid now we highlight the number of cells to match the number of rows now we move to the ribbon then we apply all bodies then we'll start to merge those cells that was merged earlier now we merge them we merge on center then we double click to move it back now we move to the student exam score sheet we highlight and merge the center we move to the scores to we highlight a merge center the reason why we are using this procedure is that you will notice that because the initial rules and columns the initial rules has been merged we will not be able to insert put our uh, Kesa in one of the cells then we go to the normal insert column when we do that it will shift to the left side instead of to the right side I hope we get that so this means that we have to abandon that newly the old uh, the old colon then we move back to the new colon and we won't we don't want to apply that so we use this procedure i hope we get it we now put a function to calculate the position or the rank now with the is equal to then we type rank we select or double click rank equation now this is going to calculate the rank where are we going to apply it we'll use their percentages 
so the percentage we said g5 now we put comma then we type the ampersand or usually what you call the dollar sign now we say the dollar sign then the dollar sign is going to read the colon and the colon is j so you see that the dollar sign j then we also have the dollar sign the rule number the rule number is five now we say dollar sign five how will we get that then we said we go to the percentage then we click then we drag it to the last so that means that the dollar sign so dollar sign j dollar sign five you calculate it all through to the rule 14 how we get that now we put on the comma then we immediately we put the comma you see that oh, how are we going to rank them in ascending order or descending order so zero for descending order and one for ascending order so we want it from the smallest to the highest so we we type zero now we close the function then we click and drag to autofill the, re the reason why i prefer we name the colon rank is that we'll be using the position when we are going to calculate the report card how we get that now our next activity is to apply or fill some of the rows and columns with colors we are going to use some selected rows and columns to fill them with colors now we'll be applying it on the first row then we apply on the second row the third row and that of the fourth row we we'll also apply grading colors to the grid row so to do that we click on the cell then we go to the fill now we apply the colors like what i'm doing you highlight the number of cells that you want then you move to the font command in the ribbon then you apply or fill it with colors i hope this is simple Now our last activity is to apply colors to the grids. We are going to use the conditional formatting to apply colors. The colors that we are going to apply to the grids, the necessity is that it will place more emphasis on the students' grids and also to enable you to identify their scores very easily. I'll put on a guide so that it will guide me when I'm applying the conditional formatting. Okay, you can see that in the guide we have excellent is equal to green, very good is equal to light green color, good is equal to blue color, above average is equal to pink color, average is equal to yellow color, and fill is equal to red color.
we will now try to apply the conditional formatting we go to the top and click to highlight the whole color in the ribbon we click on conditional formatting the first one we select highlight cells rules then we scroll down to more rules then in the drop down window we have two drop downs the first one we select specific text the second one this is where we say cells containing or beginning with or ending with then in the last one we can manual type the name of the specific text or we can click on the arrow to move you back to the excel to select the specific cell that you want to format now you move down and click on format select fill where the colors will come you see that now you can select a specific color you see then we click on ok I hope we are good to go. You, you can see that we have now assigned grading color to excellent. So we we'll do that to the rest of the grade interpretation. That is very good, good, above average, average, and that of field. So the same process that we are going to use to apply all. Please, if you have not subscribed, kindly do that so that you will be able to receive more video content from our site.
the reason why the color grading red does not appear in the color grading is that no student has scored below 50. So that's why you can see that the red doesn't appear. But this will apply should in case a student score below 49 or let's say student score below 50. Now let's start changing the scores for each subject. Then you see that the color grading will start changing colors. So we pick a student and change his score in one of the subjects. Then you see the immediately we hit enter, the color grade will change. Have you seen that? This person color grade has changed to above average. Now we move to one student again. Then we change his scores. You will notice that here it seems that there's a problem. Well, this is not a problem. I intentionally did that because I want you to be alerted about something. You can see that the color didn't change. You see that? If that person doesn't score max from 50 or and above, that means it's automatically failed. So instead of putting the fail into quotation, we left it. So that is why this person is getting fail, but the color grading couldn't apply. So we have to quote the fail so that it will be applied here. Another issue here is both average and above average are all having the same grading color. This means that we will have to go back to our conditional formatting. The problem lies where in the second drop down where we are asked to format cells containing or beginning with or ending with. This is where we have to change everything. Go back to the whole process again. Now this time uh, in the window that opens, we we'll change it in the third drop down where we manually have to change the specific cell content the text that was found in the cell so we change it here we go and format the colors then we click on ok to change the i hope this you can now see that it is changed so this is how the whole process have to do now we can try changing their scores and you see that this time around everything will now look simple so guys this is what we are supposed to do at the end of the project so anytime a student happened to come with a problem maybe he or she was wrongly uh, assigned a mark to now when you change their mark in the scores you see that you don't need to calculate it or to change their grade color again it will automatically change it so this is how simple Microsoft Excel can do for teachers and those people dealing with what huge figures. Hello guys, this brings us to the end of today's session. In our next session in Microsoft Excel, we would like to generate student report cards and cumulative report cards. So what we are supposed to do is to subscribe to my channel so that anytime I upload these videos, you'll be able to have access to it. And also try to share to your friends to also benefit from our tutorials. Thank you once again and have a nice day. Bye.